starting lanes. And now it's time for the Sprite Ice Cold Keys to the game. And as you take a look at Boston, tell me, Clark, what's going to be the key taking on the Lakers? Well, I think the trick will be containing their offense. One of the top scoring teams in the league a season ago. They love that high possession, high efficiency offense. So you've got to be ready to match their energy and hustle back on defense. On the other side, Clark, how about the Lakers? What's the key for them? Perennial MVP candidate Kobe Bryant. What doesn't he do? Well, we know he scores, but you know he's become even more of a leader, and I think he appreciates what's around him. I agree with you wholeheartedly there. He knows he's going to need to score big points on a regular basis, but he also knows he has a little more help this season. It ought to be a compelling game to watch. Thanks, Clark. Isn't it interesting when Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen come to the Boston Celtics, and they say maybe you two should be the captains? They said no. Paul Pierce has been here the longest. Paul Pierce is the captain of this team. Yeah, that speaks volumes to who Paul Pierce is and what he's been, but also to those other guys as well. Pierce has just been such a steady, high-level player throughout his career. One of the outstanding scorers, and maybe one of the best clutch scorers, top four or five clutch scorers in the NBA throughout his career. I mean, he's put together some fourth quarters and some playoff numbers that rival some of the all-time greats. And it's the Celtics with the ball after the basket by the Lakers. Here's Fisher. Here's Bryant. Gets the bucket from 20 feet away. Talk about a difficult shot. The defender was breathing down his neck, so he faded away and lofted it over the top. Beautifully done. Cuts off the pass. On defense, Boston. To the inside. Pushes it with the one-handed jam. The steal led to an easy bucket in transition. That's a nice sequence. Rondo with it. And a piece of it. Stopped and pulled. The rejection by Bynum. Get up! with the traveling violation. Hoda is in it powerful. And here are the Celtics now. Rondo kept alive. Here's Garnett booking off the offensive rebound. You've watched a lot of Kevin Garnett. Is he the most intense NBA player you've ever seen? I tell you what, he's right up there. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if anybody has a more intense pregame match <laughs> than KG does. I mean, yes, the exactly. way he goes up against the basket stanchion and support <laughs> and makes all kind of machinations with his mouth and looks into the crowd and talks to himself before the jump ball. But he's been doing that since he came into the league. And I knew Sam Mitchell was a teammate of his in Minnesota. He said, this young guy is something else. And that's been who, he's, who he is and who he's been throughout his career. So I don't know if there's anybody that's ever been more intense in getting ready to play day in and day out than Kevin Garnett. Now Allen, after Paul Gasol's bucket. Here's Perkins. Plays it in. Sweet time to lead into the rack. Great pass into the lane. They'll take that one every time. Here's Fisher. Odom. He gets hammered and he'll head to the line. It's on Kevin Garnett. Not a bad foul there, Kevin. You don't want him to get the easy layup. She didn't. Can't sink the first. Some changes for the Celtics. And here is Odom. He sinks the second. The Celtics with the lead. To Rondo. Here's Allen. A miss three. The Lakers trail. Bryant. Working on Allen. Here's Bryant. A five. Down home. Six points for him. By the time the D 
to react, it was too late. That's how to rise up for the throwdown. Rondo with it. Just over four minutes left in the first quarter. They switch now to the full court press. We'll see if they can find a way to pressure the ball and force a few turnovers. Now Allen, Pierce, played in softly off the glass. He's really been efficient in the quarter so far. I love the way he's looking for his offense. And the Lakers call time here. Some changes there for the Lakers. So it's the Lakers now. They trail by one. And here is Bryant working on Allen. Now Gasol gets in close. Graceful finish. Rondo with it. Rondo brings it up the floor. Here's Allen. Drains it from short range. I know all the other Celtic teammates he has are enjoying themselves. But when you think of Ray Allen... And, and, and the, the route he has taken to get to where he was as a world champion with his Boston team. To know his single individual skills, you feel very good for this guy and what he's been able to accomplish and cap it off with the win. Yeah, he's always been one of my favorite players. Yeah. I covered him a lot in college. Always very thoughtful and cerebral in how he approached the game and how he handled himself off the court. And you couldn't be happier for a guy when you think of Ray Allen. And then you think about that sweet, sweet... Oh, is, that, is that as good a stroke as you've seen in the NBA? It's one of the best. Mm -hmm. There's one, he's one of the guys that I could just sit in the gym, me and him and somebody else rebounding the ball for him and just watch him shoot because it's a thing of beauty. And the Lakers have possession following the three from Ray Allen. Here's Odom. Jams it in two-handed. I'll tell you what, Kevin. Both teams have been on a tear. This could be a very high-scoring game. Rondo with it. 2-12 left in the first. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. The Celtics changing it up. Davis inside. Finishes with the soft touch. What a hard-fought game. They're trading baskets, trading elbows, trading attitude. It's a foul. Get up! Get up! Get up! Here's Bryant. Get up! Shot is off. And the Celtics go with it the other way. Here's Daniels. Plays it in. Sweet time to lead him to the rack. Kicked it to the right guy at the right time. That's a good pass. Gasol flushes it in. He's got six. He's not the guy you would expect to compete in the dunk contest, but he can still throw it down when he needs to. Let's go with a three. Gets it to go. They lead 24 to 19. And here comes Kobe Bryant. Eight points for him. Here's Gasol. Kisses it off the glass and in. Right now he's being extremely active on offense for him this quarter. He's perfect from the field. Swing pass. Here's Pierce from inside. Gasol with the rebound. Once he gets it inside, Kevin, he's really a good finisher. That's a good effort defensively to force the miss. And here is Bryant. Excellent anticipation there, Kev. He placed that pass perfect. And here are the Celtics. Now. To Daniels. Stolen away. The Lakers with a chance to retake the lead. For the oh, 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 throwdown. Wow. Boom. 
impeccable timing on that alley -oop. They hooked up perfectly. Here comes Pierce. He's got eight. Boy, the turnovers are piling up pretty quickly here. We've seen them doing... Here's Pierce. These turnovers can pile up, like you were saying, Clark. And when you cough up the rock, you're forfeiting possessions. Empty trips, we call them, Kevin, and that's exactly what they've been doing right now. You've got to be aware of where the defense is, and you also have to be ready to be patient and make good decisions with the basketball. The Lakers with the narrow lead. They're looking to find the open man, and you can see their advantage in assists. If I had to point out an area for improvement, it would be on the offensive glass. They need somebody to get in.